You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows. Of the darkest dungeon. Hey everybody, welcome back. One-Eyed Sniper here. Alright, we are about to go on our next mission into the ruins. It's going to be a short one. We are taking the Man-at-Arms, the Highwaymen, highwayman, the Vestal, and an Arbalist. And we're going for the Slippery Boots. Alright, let's, let's do this. Two of those. Go seven torches. Two keys. I will go ten foods in case we need to do a little healing. And one thing of medicinal herbs, curio wise. And I think that'll do it, right? Shields, torches, keys, food. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully this goes uh, out the by the numbers. Your lineage once familiar, now foreign. Okay, this looks a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. Where are we? All right, so we got to do ninety percent of the rooms. Uh, we got a scout, so that's good. I say we go... We're just going to skip that room, so I think we'll go left and make our way around. All right, women, you're going to be my best for traps, it looks like. Yep. Get rid of a little bit of his stress. Are we going to have a hallway battle followed up by a room battle? As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Spiders. And purpose is made clear. Okay, they do blight, so that's good to know. Let's see. They don't have that great of resistances, but they got a little bit to everything. Let's see. It's only one damage for three rounds, so three damage more. It's not bad. Alright, let's do some judgment here. Well, good for him. Just curious how much damage this actually does. So one to two, okay. Alright, take him out. Another one falls. Good hit. You don't feel faint, you're alright. So that stuns and marks. It's good to know. Be gone, fiend. Dunzo. Alright, cool. We got a couple deeds out of it. Horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Alright, full group. Spreading that stress around. I want to say I feel like our Arbalist can take him out. So let's go here. Good dodge. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll do a double attack on him. He'll definitely be dead unless the Arbalist misses. Which is possible. Nice. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. 
He's probably not going to get a kill here. Maybe. Executed All right. with impunity. Sorry, I doubted you. She needs to get a heal on here. Ooh, As the fiend good crit. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Actually, I should have done judgment. She would have. Oh well. Uh, maybe I. Yeah, I could have. Damage and heal. Oh well. Another abomination. Not needed. Cleansed from our lands. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. All right. Let's use a key on this. Okay. Good haul there, actually. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Uh, let's use a little. I did not bring holy water this time. Don't know why? I always bring holy water. Uh. All right, you reach inside. Yeah. I'm probably not going to need... Let's see. Six damage. Yeah, I'm probably not going to need uh, Antivenin, so... Bring Curios. Alright, that's what I like to see. Let's get a little damage on everybody. That gives him a better chance of getting the kill. And hopefully we get a kill on this guy. Confidence nice. surges as the enemy crumbles. Oh. Got hit like a bitch. Yeah, take this guy out. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. They're really messing with our Vestal here. Their formation is broken. Good kill. Maintain the offensive. Good heal. Crits all around. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Sounds good to me. Ooh, twenty five gold. Well, well. Good. So we're clear to move on. We got a trap here. Dismiss. Can't have this for me. Good man. Ah, oh, books. Well, let's let the Arbalist read it. Cove Tactician, I will take it. I thought I remember hearing that those are usually bad, and for us, so far, I feel like it's they've been pretty good. Okay, let's grab a bite to eat. And why don't you eat a couple more? Yeah, we'll save five. Save one for if we need to use it. Uh, 
All right, so our choices are either straight ahead or... Actually, no, we gotta go all the way up here, don't we? Never mind. I could get greedy and go look at that curio. And then just come right back. That's it. We head back, back the way we came. Got a map. Apparently, we already revealed everything. So, Alright, one to go, two battles to go. Am I out of torches? I am out of torches. Well, poor me. Should have taken eight. He needs to go. God damn it. Just hold tight. Be strong, little one. Is that what I want to do? I'm thinking on grape shotting. That'll give him a chance to kill him, and she can then hopefully take that guy out. Let's do that. Just all over her. <laughs> Eradicated. Okay. Come on. Be good to me. Nice. Dallas, just oh, courageous, sweet. All right, nice. I am getting pretty lucky. Okay, sometimes heroes respond to the onslaught of stress by becoming heroic. Uh, this elevated stat of performance will last until they, they camp or return to town, and confers stat bonuses and other benefits. All right, well, you can use judgment, and then you'll get a little bit of a heal. Get you off the death's door. Let's defend her. We probably should have done. Well, I couldn't see a crit coming, I guess. Alright. Give me a sniper shot on this guy. Nicely done. yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Uh, I will use the last of the food once we get on this last space and we'll heal her up. Okay, no hunger, so we should be okay. So once that battle's done, we're done. Oh, uh, Dismas, go ahead. This asshole, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Impressive. That was impressive. Thank you.
I can let the Vestal take him. Yeah. Uh, we don't need to bellow. Just go for it here. He doesn't do a lot of damage, unfortunately, but he's defensive. Okay, let's get some judgment going. Nice. A momentary abatement. So I'm curious if we can see what all bonuses she's getting. Oh, Dismas is the popular guy. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what all Courageous is actually getting us right now. Hmm. Okay, can you finish this guy? Uh, maybe. Get rid of him. Alright, so then we're going to use blind fire and hopefully get a kill on him. Reeling. About to break. Four to seven. Okay, it's our best chance here. Oh boy, no. Kind of crap. Okay, actually, we can sniper shot him, get him out of here. And I'll go for the mace bash, I don't care. That is a finished. Ball. Lock sarcophagus. Okay, I will take all of that. Alright, that was not a great run. We got a lot, a lot of luck in there. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. But we did get a decent amount of heirlooms. I uh, still need more deeds mostly but I'm sure that'll change swap around okay eldritch slayer accuracy and crit against eldritch 100% uh, food consumed if stress above 50 I think that means if a hunger check happens she'll eat twice the amount of food and range skills are increased okay Beliefs is possessed by demons I don't really know what that one does Though long years may seek to separate them, action and consequence will invariably have their dreadful reunion. All right, intolerable clouds of mosquitoes and other less identifiable pests continue to descend upon the hamlet with maddening persistence, illness, and irritation abound. And we've opened up the courtyard. We're not going to do that right away. I've actually done it before. Uh, so it can be done right off the bat, but probably not by me. So the guild's open, blacksmith, and the courtyard quest. There's our mosquitoes. So let's see who we got here. Okay, got an occultist. I like that. Okay, so we need to upgrade our barracks. Now we can take 12. We're going to need to upgrade that soon enough. Alright, so we now got a second healer, so that's good. And our cultist. That sucks. Uh, meditate, okay. Yeah, so his heal's cool. I can either do, like, almost nothing or a lot. I, I like it. And has a chance to inflict bleed, so there's that. But, oh, uh, it's just a cool heal, so. I, I like this whole class, actually. I like the skills on him. 
Uh, Hands from the Abyss. It's not the one I like. It's Abyssal Artillery I like. You can use it from the two back rows and it attacks their two back rows. Um, what else? I won't use that one. I think Demon's Pole can be used from anywhere, so we use that. It actually messes up their party order, clears corpses. So I'll probably switch that one off for Abyssal Artillery. And I'll have this guy in the number three spot. Though maybe having... Well, that gives him a chance to attack the front, so that's good to have that one. We could have Weakening Curse. Uh, I'll have to think about that, because I might be good to have a debuff on hand. Okay, so let's grab him. To fight the Abyss, one must know it. Okay, the Leper is another good frontliner. Curious means she's going to randomly read books, I think. Or he. He or she, I don't know which. Uh, will not pray or flagellate for stress relief, but everything else is cool, so that works to me. And get in the ruins. I'm not too sure on, on all the, the leper's skills, like what I like. Um, it's a lot of self buffing. These are the two damage ones. Basically, hit the first two, one of the first two, and this will hit the both the first two. Uh, this one will knock back an enemy and clear all the corpses. Revenge is a buff on the self, adds damage, accuracy, and a little bit of crit. But you also lose dodge and protection. I will stand, distresses yourself, and adds. Hold on, self. So you de stress yourself and you mark yourself, and then you buff yourself with protection. Okay. So they're more likely to go after you, but you've got protection. It just heals, just heals and buffs you. And Intimidate is a melee attack. It can ha hit anything. And it will debuff. The does really little damage. Minus 85%. But will debuff the target. I like the Leper as well. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. Alright, so we got two of the same guy. Tough and Cove Explorer. Okay. Basically, all his skills are unlocked. Um, the way he works is you can transform into a beast and then back into a human once each per battle. As a human, you can use Manacles, Beast Bile, which is a good blight. Manacles is a stun. Uh, does kind of crappy damage. That adds two points of blight for three rounds. Uh, on the middle two. Uh, this will reduce stress and heal yourself. And then this, if you transform into a beast, you get uh, Rake. Which is just a melee attack and buffs yourself. Rage. Just a melee attack on the first three row, first three positions. And slams, uh, moves you forward and knocks them back. So I think you probably as a human would keep him in the third spot. And then as a beast, if you want to move him up to the front, uh, you could use that one. Because all his other, but all his skills are good from the third spot, so... But in theory, you could keep him in the... Sorry, instead of the second slot, you could keep him in the third slot. And then transform and then use that to move up. Theory. We got two of these guys, so let's see. Uh, good for the ruins and plus three crit if HP is below 50%, which is going to happen. I don't know what that means. So he's going to just randomly investigate curios, I think. I think I like Caron. We can have them both, but I'll probably keep Caron uh, until we get a really tortured and reclusive. This man is more dangerous than he seems. Until we get a really filled up uh, or more space in our barracks, I'll probably ditch Gurney here. Or one of these two guys. Okay, so. Make no the mistake. Guild. We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. This is where we can unlock their other skills. Let's see. Go ahead and hit that one Some up. Some may fall. But their knowledge We're not ready on. to upgrade to rank 2 yet. The blacksmith is for upgrading the weapons and armor. Once again, 
The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. I don't know which characters I need to change skills on. I don't see me using bolster that much. This activates for post, which I bet is, which is really cool. So we're going to get that one. Let's go to the guild. And retribution. Okay. Turn off bolster, go retribution. So we could use that right at the start. Uh, marks him, so they're going to be more inclined to go after him. He will repost, but he's going to do minus 40% damage. But he basically gets a counterattack. And it's an attack on all its own and does 75% less damage, but... And I don't know about Bellows, either. Rampart might be... Uh... Rampart might be better. Because it's a uh, knockback and a stun. And I will see about that. The Dismiss, I think I want to get you... I want to rework you a little bit. I like point blank shot when we're dealing with a, a badass. But for me to use that, I would need Duelist Advance because you got to be in the front. And then you'll get... Once you use that attack, you'll move back. So how do we want to work your skills? I say we just get rid of those two. Now I could get rid of open vein. If I wanted. And keep. That's a bleed. It's either between open vein or grape shot blast. Having an ability to attack all three is handy. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll keep it like that. Okay, you, I think I need to get divine comfort. And instead of illumination, do I want, you're not going to be there at all. I think we'll go Dazzling Light so I get a little bit of a stun. Oops. Oh, that's fine. Turn that off. That on. Oh, I'm being dumb. Okay. There we go. Yeah. And that'll actually bolster our torch a little bit if I make a stupid mistake like I just did. I think I'm okay with... Uh, I could get rid of Bola. I wouldn't mind having Battlefield Bandage. Uh, you can only heal the, s the back two. But that would be you and anyone else. Pressing fire. Five accuracy and crit. Rallying flare. Clear stun. Clears marked target. Adds the tor- eh. I think we go battlefield bandage and we'll get rid of the bola. And then I probably spent enough money, so... Got two of these guys as well. I'm pretty sure we'll keep Renault. This is already level one. I'll just spend the money to get uh, probably Battle Heal. Battle Heal or Inspiring Cry. It removes some stress, which could be handy. And adds to the torch a little bit. I should do this as I'm taking people out. So let's stop spending money right now. Okay, so we're going to need to de-stress some people. 
Uh, these two at least. You can't gamble. Fine, you can go to the church. You were the wrong one, but fine. Uh, we can send you to pray to higher power. Before I do that, spend money. We have enough here. Upgrade a little bit. A robe, claiming communion with the divine. Madness. Okay, so let's pick our next target here. Into the nose. <laughs> okay, she's just talking to herself. This is for the Plague Doctor. We'll add stun. I wouldn't mind going somewhere new. Uh, I th think I've been to the Weld. I think I've only been to the Ruins and the Weld and the, and the Cove. I've never been to the Warrens. I have into the courtyard. This is like mostly beasts, which means they're going to bleed us. I don't know if they have blight resist, but I know they can be bled. And we don't have a lot of people with bleeding skills, except maybe Dismas, who I just got rid of his, so. But that one will give us deeds, so that might not be a bad play. 100% of room battles. Okay, why don't we take our leper? I think I'm okay with this for now. Yep. Uh, what do we have for trinkets? We'll add dodge and reduce move resist. We don't have a lot, do we? We're going to be taking him out, put him in position three. Okay, I need to change his skills. I want Abyssal Artillery. And I think that'll, that'll work for now. Alright, who's going to be your your backup. We could try to take the abomination. Not basically the problem with the abomination is not everyone will party with him. He's just, he's a little bit of a pariah. Caron. Yeah, I'm gonna guess the leper won't. Plague doctor will. They won't either. High women will. Men at arms will. Alright, well you're out. Because the leper is apparently too good for you. We could take the man at arms back out again. He, he did okay. Do that. We'll have a little more damage back up with uh, Carol. And who is going to ride the back? Actually, Plague Doctor should. No, this uh, might not be a good place for Blight. I don't remember. I take two of them, but that seems ridiculous. Well, I'll never know unless we try, so let's see. He's good in the weld. Uh, do we want to change this around? For him to have incision, he needs to be in the third spot. He can do the third spot. Or the last spot, I guess.
We'll go that route. Not ideal, but it'll work. Okay, so we have a stun. We can plague the back. Yeah, that'll work. You will. You can go. Ravel. Grindhouse. Okay, guys. This is our party for next time. Uh, it's a little unique. I'll give it that. Our leper's a kind of a snob, so abomination freaked freaked him out. That's okay. And Reynolds, these guys are too holy to be going with some guy that can transform into a beast. But I think we are good to go. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, I know you have a choice where you watch our darkest dungeon. Let's plays and think of choosing one eyed sniper. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>